Today, I'm flying British Airways Club Europe business class from Rome to London Heathrow. My flight doesn't go as expected, with a diversion back to Rome. So let's see how BA Club Europe holds up when things don't go to plan. The one-way ticket from Rome to London in business class costs £450. There was a dedicated business class check-in desk. However, most people, like me, seem to travel with hand luggage only. The baggage allowance was generous with two checked bags weighing up to 32 kilos each. You could also take a bag in the cabin weighing up to 23 kilos and a personal item which had to fit under the seat in front. Fast track security took only a few minutes. The airport had installed new x-ray machines so nothing needed to be removed from bags. After security and immigration, it was a walk through the maze of duty three to get to the departure hall. British Airways had its own lounge in Rome, which was located on the upper level. The lounge was spacious. A choice of hot and cold snacks was available, alongside a full bar service. I left the lounge for the gate about 50 minutes prior to departure. The gate was a five minute walk away. The gate area was organised well with clearly labelled queues for different boarding groups. Shortly after I arrived at the gate, priority boarding started for Club Europe passengers. The flight was on an Airbus A320neo aircraft Registration Golf, Tango Tango, November Golf. It was five years old. Club Europe seats were located at the front of the plane. There were 32 seats in a 2-2 configuration. I was in seat 5F. The seating layout was the same in business as the rest of the plane, but with the middle seat on each side unallocated. The seat had a width of 17.7 inches and the pitch between rows was 30 inches. There were adjustable sides on the headrest. There was plenty of space under the unallocated middle seat to store a bag. Below each seat was a power socket and USB port. There was plenty of overhead bin space. The armrest flipped up, although the seat was pretty narrow. Before takeoff, a menu card was handed out. There would be a three course meal with a choice of three main courses. We pushed back from the gate on schedule as a manual safety briefing got underway. We taxied from Terminal 3 across the airfield to take off from runway 25. The flight time from Rome to London was scheduled to be 2 hours and 40 minutes, but today's routing was expected to take just 2 hours. As we settled in for the flight, 
I checked out the onboard Wi-Fi service. A free messaging service was available, or a full flight streaming pass cost £8. The download speeds were low, at just under 1 megabit per second. At this point I noticed something wasn't quite right. From the uh, flight exit so captain this time. I was hoping we'd be a little bit close to London by now, but uh, we have a slight technical problem up here in the uh, in the flight deck. We are dealing with it, um, but our intention, unfortunately, is that we're going to have to uh, return to Rome just to get that checked out by the engineers. We flew along the Italian coast before circling back to Rome. Minutes to go, ten minutes to land. There was quiet in the cabin, with a nervous atmosphere. We landed safely back in Rome after just 40 minutes in the air. Just to give you all the information that we have uh, in the cabin, as the captain mentioned whilst we were in the air, uh, we did have a technical issue with the aircraft that uh, meant unfortunately we could not continue with the flight. Uh, that technical issue needs to be looked at by an engineer, which is why we've returned to Rome uh, this afternoon. Uh, what the captain will be doing now is just taxiing from the runway to one of the stands. We'll park up and open the door so an engineer can come on board the aircraft. Once we have more information, I will let you know. Uh, but at the moment, that is the entirety of the information that we're aware of. Uh, so, uh, yeah, once again, once I know more, I will let you know. Uh, but we thank your patience at this time. Thank you. Uh, well, I do apologise for this. Uh, we are obviously on the ground now in uh, Fiumicino, parked up on the gate. Uh, like I said, we had a technical issue uh, once we got airborne, just a minor technical issue, but it did mean uh, that with that we could not continue towards London. Um, so we've got some engineers to meet us here. Um, and they are uh, just going to take a look at the issue for us and um, sort it out. There'll be some paperwork to do and uh, we'll have to get some new flight plans. We'll put some more fuel on the aeroplane. We'll have every intention of, uh, of getting airborne again. Uh, once the engineers came onto the plane as cups of water were handed around for the passengers. I swapped the memory cards on my cameras, ready for further developments. Hope to be going here in the next 35 minutes from now. So thank you for your patience. We taxied back to the runway as the safety briefing was delivered for a second time. Uh, you can get a really quick update for you from the flight deck. Um, just waiting for an air traffic control slot, which means um, our earliest airborne time is in uh, 10 minutes from now. So we're just waiting for air traffic control and uh, say airborne in 10 minutes. Finally, we were back in the air, still with a quick flight time of just two hours back to London. I tried to log on to the Wi-Fi, only to find my pass had expired. And then some unwelcome news. No hot meals could be served in Club Europe, because the food had been out of refrigeration for too long. Food was available from the High Life Cafe, but priority would be given to economy passengers. I tried to order online, but heard nothing during the entire flight. Drinks were served alongside a packet of nut mix, which is really useful if you have a nut allergy. The crew did serve some food in Club Europe, just not the hot main course. So a starter of fennel, apple and dill slaw, a selection of British cheese with chutney and crackers, a hot bread roll, 
and a rhubarb and strawberry panna cotta. Not quite the meal I'd expected. So I drowned my sorrows with a glass of Baileys. There was one bathroom for Club Europe at the front of the plane. It was small, but did feature the White Company soap and hand cream. As we approached Heathrow, there were good views over Docklands and the city. We came into land on runway 27 left and taxied to Terminal 5. How would I rate the flight overall? The ground service both in the lounge and at the gate was first rate. The seat was okay, but it would have been nicer if there'd been a table in place of the empty middle seat, as happens on some other aircraft. The diversion meant we arrived at Heathrow two hours late. The crew handled events well, but the lack of a proper meal did make you question the value for money of the upgrade. There was a suggestion we would receive a £25 e-voucher, but that hasn't arrived yet. And the fact that the High Life Cafe wasn't available didn't help. Wi-Fi resetting was also annoying. I've contacted BA to ask for a refund of the second £8 charge, but I'm waiting to hear back. I probably will fly BA Club Europe again, as they usually offer an incredibly good service. I'm just a bit disappointed that they were not so good when things start to go wrong. Let me know what you think of the review. Leave a like and comment away. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe for future reviews.